What's going on, boys and girls? We are here with a video, and this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about some of the open source video editors. Now, it, this is always an interesting topic because people are like, oh, you can't use open source video editors. It depends. Um, you know, for some people, you can't. You know, you know DaVinci Resolve, what light works, the, the proprietary stuff is necessary. And that's totally fine. What I find is like the, these are the fall into the same line as maybe a higher end iMovie, uh, a Corel Video Studio, like uh, Adobe Ele uh, Premiere Elements that they will do the job and you can get a lot out of them. It's just how much work you're going to do, how creative are you going to be to get that out of them? And that's really what I think it boils down to sometimes. For me, I use personally, I use Cinelira uh, GG as my personal video editor when it comes to Linux, but you know, to each their own. So I wanted to highlight some, there's probably ones I'm missing, but I believe this covers pretty much a majority of them. So let's get into this um, particular video, shall we? So obviously we're going to be talking about you know, my preferred video editor, which is Cinelera, GG, Synfinity. This one is different than, say, Cinelera, HV, the uh, CV, um, the various branches of Cinelera. This one is far more up to date. There's usually about a monthly release. And if you work with multiple monitors, this is really where I think its strength is. Because there are four different windows. This is kind of like the old uh, three-pane gimp set up for a while that's kind of the structure that Cinelera works with and i think that plays a strength because you can have one monitor for the compositor one monitor for the viewer one monitor for your effects and one monitor for your you know your timeline and stuff that to me is probably as big as strength understanding it and actually using it it's going to take some time there's there's a lot to it and it's not for everybody. That's, that's, let's be real. And I think if you, you can get a lot out of it, if you're willing to put the time into it, um, I would call this probably one of the better video editors that is on a professional grade level on Linux than I would a lot of the other ones. Again, personal opinion, work with whatever you prefer personally. So, okay, next up we have Flowblade. The thing with Flowblade is they don't go for multi-plat. They go and develop specifically for Linux first. And I can appreciate that. To me, Flowblade's interface, not terrible. Um, you know, as you can see right here, here's your timeline. You know, your effects and all you know, your media files and pull in in your viewer. Like it it's not terrible. It's not hard to understand or use. It's just it's not the most intuitive for some people because these are actually like your overlay tracks, the and this is your main track. Whereas where most NLAs are non-linear NLVs do is your main track is the first track. Everything below is your overlays and your subtracks and all that stuff. Each their own. But that's not how this one works. Uh, but if you want a Linux only, Linux first and developed on video editor, you know, they, they preach the whole free Libre video editor. The flow blades totally your, your, your stick. Go, go grab it. Uh, <laughs> I want to love OpenShot. So if you want one that is very UI pretty, this, this is totally the, the one to use. Uh, the UI is, this is probably the easiest to understand where to go, drag, drop, really simple, really not overly complicated as far as like generic use. You can dig into to it and get into some stuff, but my biggest criticism of this particular one is generically it crashes a lot. 
I haven't used it in a couple of releases just because of the crashing just drove me up a wall. Um, but if you want something that is, you know, your iMovie or, you know, from an interface point of view, very simple to use, this is definitely the one to use. Lives. Oh man. Um, lives is, who the, the, this is more for VJing. So like, if you want to queue up sequences and stuff, if you're, you're a video DJ, the, this is definitely more up your alley um, than say something like a Cinelera or a insert other video editors and stuff, but you can do video editing with it. So I would recommend this more job specific. The cool thing with this is it's like a real time kind of, uh, so you can see a lot of that stuff done without the, the weight of it. So the interface is something to get used to. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's got its uses. I'm not a fan of it personally, but if you want, you know, if you're a VJ, if you are looking for something like effects and that kind of stuff and you're like live real time, uh, video editing and all that kind of stuff, this is probably the best way to go. Can live. This is the one a lot of people preach and tout as, as the best one out there. Uh, I find that the interface is simple enough to understand and simple enough to use. And that's its biggest strength. Uh, there's a, there's a lot built into it. And once you dig a little deep and get into some of the more feature rich stuff, it's actually really, really powerful. Would I call it professional? I would call it prosumer. It's somewhere between it. You can do professional ish work, but at, from a consumer end of it, like looking at it. So it'd be higher, higher than the, the consumer kind of stuff. That's where I view it. But Caden live bar none. Like if there's going to be a video editor that somebody recommends for, Linux, uh, cable lives is probably going to be one of the two that usually shows up first. Uh, Pativi, this is generically just the GTK version for, um, Caden live. Basically <laughs> that that's really underselling the project. Uh, the user interface is very reminiscent and very simplistic to use. Uh, if you're just getting into video editing, this might be actually something I would probably recommend along with kind of like open shot. Those are probably the two like noob friendly uh, open source uh, NLVs to use. So next up, Olive. Olive is something that is just coming out. So I can't give a lot of a recommendation to this, but I can't also knock it because it, it, it doesn't claim to be anything other than a you know 2.0 or 1.0 currently. But they have come a long way and the stuff they are looking to incorporate is amazing to me and something I really, really, really want to happen. So if you want to try the experimental alpha builds, this is definitely worth trying because, you know, disk caching, color management, uh, node compositing is probably the best thing that I like. And some improvements to the timeline. Best video editor that I have tried that gives, shows potential. And, you know, I, I've used a lot of video editors in Linux and this one came out of the gate strong and it gives me great hope to see where this develops and goes. And then next up, uh, this is usually considered one of the best multi-platform video editors, which is Shotcut. Now, the thing that mostly for me that I like about Shotcut is it has the GPU acceleration. Uh, for you know encoding decoding and that stuff that's really to me its biggest strength um the ui 
the UI to me is just way too busy. Uh, again, personal preference, but that's just how I see it. You might like it. Cool. Do you? Uh, it, it Windows, Mac, Linux, there's a ton of things that this works for. So those are just some of the free video editors that are available on Linux. Which ones would I recommend? If you're looking for introductory to, to non-linear video editors, I would look at OpenShot or TV. If you want something a little more, Caden Live, uh, Olive, if you're looking for strictly a Linux developed one, Lowblade. If you're looking for more of the, the professional grade stuff, I would honestly try Sinalira. Try to overcome the interface. You might be surprised. Uh, and like I would recommend all of these, but a lot of them are very use case specific. Professional level, I'd recommend Sinalira. Again, new users, I would recommend OpenShot or TV. And if you're looking for something in between beginner and professional, I would look at Caden Live personally. So those are my takes. Those are just a quick rundown of some of the available video editors on Linux. And I will talk to you guys on the flip. Peace.